<laughs> right. Good morning. My name is Sharon Davis. I'm from a women's-led community association called Mums Mart. We're based in Bent Hill in Widdenshaw in the south of Manchester. In the year 2000, Bent Hill was declared the most deprived area in the UK. For many years, it was also the largest council estate in Europe. We have a large and diverse population. In 2015, we met Sophie King, who introduced us to a group of activists from South Africa. They were here teaching students at Manchester University. We met a few times over the weeks, and their saving schemes seemed like a great idea to us. Sophie continued to support us setting up our saving scheme. In 2017, the Realising Just Cities programme came along, and we started to talk about making an action research programme out of what we were already doing. Why, you may ask. Well, we wanted more women in Manchester to learn from South Africa like we had. We wanted to link together our little community into other, er other areas so we had a bigger community span in our city. Since the start of this, we've taken four different neighbourhoods to South Africa and Nairobi to learn from Slum Shack Dwellers International. We visited Mongano in Nairobi twice to learn from their ladies. These groups in Africa have been doing this work for over 20 years, so have lots to pass on to us. We also carried out numerous local exchanges with groups across Manchester. We have learned that we have huge areas of people who have lived in our area for 50 years and do not know the next door neighbour's name. This was a startling realisation. We also discovered it's not hard to change this and turn it around and bring these people together. All over the world, women are living with the same issues, the same pressures, the same inequalities and the same suffrage. We found we can support each other to change that. We need to challenge these systems that are holding us in disadvantage. Our organisation has never worked with the middle class professionals before. We never wanted to. We had seen too many other groups being used as puppets for someone's research outcomes. We changed our view after time with Sophie in this programme. This was going to be a different research. We may even change the way these people see us. We can tell them we can make our own decisions. From our little area of Bent Chill, we started a movement of women-led saving schemes. We have held inner city exchanges and lots of other grassroots groups across our city. We have another one planned in a few weeks' time. Not so long ago, there was no way I'd have stood here talking to you, but these women from all across Manchester deserve to be listened to. By linking in with the Realising Just Cities programme, we've been able to help to network with other organisations and people who can help us. We found an urban development consultant who helped us fight for green spaces nearby. Greater Manchester Housing Action are willing to work with us and another group from North Manchester so we can open a dialogue with our councillors and other housing associations so we can express our opinions of the buildings and developments in our area. These links have only been possible by other action research programmes that have been going on at the same time in Manchester, like Housing Futures, who are a community-led housing, and Space in Common, who are about having a voice in spatial planning. I'm hoping we can mobilise all the women's groups into starting their own saving schemes. The bigger we are, the stronger our voice, the better our work. Thank you. Thank you.